Hi, we are in chapter 4. In this chapter, we will be discussing about user interface. When you open a process your die wizard in UGNX9, you will get this window. Here we can see intermediate stage tools which is mainly used for unfolding the uh, complicated components. Here is the main menu for this progressive die wizard where we initialize project and create strip layout and assemble everything. All this is done in using main menus. Here it's drawing automation. Once the design is freezed, you can uh, create the drawings using these menus. This is tooling validation and this is workflow management. And these are the die, some of the die tools which comes very handy in during designing. And this is LS Dyna uh, icons. If you have to unfold a very complicated form, we use this tool. This is part navigator tool and this is assembly navigator, this is constraint and this is the user library. And here are some of the constraints then sectioning and all. Next I will explain the workflow in progressive die wizard which a designer generally uses it. We will start with unfolding the component. What does unfolding the component mean? If we have a very complicated bends and all, we have to first develop a strip layout to uh, develop a flat component so this is one example which I have put where uh, in different stages this this is by itself a strip layout but this is not the full strip layout of that die design this I would say the half of the strip layout so in this strip layout we will just define the stages of the blanks and from a complex pen component will develop a flat surface. Once we get that flat surface, we will initialize the project, enter the details and all. Next is blank generator, where we uh, identify out of the strip layout which component is the component to develop actual strip layout. Once that actual strip layout is identified we go to blank layout and define the uh, the I would say the uh, strip layout flow how many passes it required does it require uh, two pass or how many rows it required like uh, there will be uh, orientation of this blank properly to achieve maximum economic factor the maximum economic factor that we a designer would like to have is 60 percentage that is utilization factor so once that is finalized we go to the scrap design scrap design is the area where we define the how to cut this uh, flat black so we define all the uh, profiles of the cut in using the scrap designs and once everything is done we will generate the strip layout here we generate uh, the strip layout how to cut the flat back so and then we merge the blank uh, layout in first stage and a complete strip layout is formed once uh, once the strip layout is done, we will go to setting the clearance, that is uh, clearance between punch, punch holder, punch and stripper, punch and die, etc. Once that is defined, we will design the entire die. We will use standard components of uh, die base, uh, like uh, standard suppliers like Hasco and all. Once that is done, we will insert all the punch and dice uh, wherever uh, we design the scrap. Once that is 
done we will assemble all the standard parts and after completing the design and freezing it we will do the detailing of the entire part this, this is the common workflow that a design engineer follows in progressive die wizard design 